Hi, this is Lisa Carbonara, and many of you are asking me what I drink in the morning in my juices and my shakes, and there's really no set anything. So today I'm going to talk very little bit about juicing. So um, I'm actually going to juice on here. I bought a juicer. This I bought one. This is one by GE or something like that, and it has an 800 watt motor. It works for me. I don't really know. I know that they make some really high-end ones. This one, I don't remember the cost. It was somewhere between um, 50 and 75 maybe, 80. I, I don't really remember that. But um, the most important thing on this juicer for me is this wide mouth here. You want a very wide mouth so you can fit apples. Some, sometimes the apples fit whole in here, or you just cut them in half, core and all, and you don't have to worry about burning out the motor. So again, this is about maybe three inches in diameter around. I'm not really sure, but that's what works for me. And then what I'm going to do here is put in, in like a grocery store bag inside this part that catches all the pulp because it, it just makes clean up a snap. I don't like to spend a whole lot of time cleaning up and worrying about mess and all that. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to go ahead and put a bag right in here. Just pop it in there like that. So it might look a little sloppy on like a film shoot here, but it doesn't matter. It's real life here. Hope you can hear me. I love the feedback everybody's giving me and with the, the different topics you want to hear about. I hear everything from makeup and protein drinks to, you know, t-shirt cutting, <laughs> all kinds of things. So keep the ideas coming. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, snap this on. It just slides under here. Okay. So while I'm juicing, it, it's a little loud, so I'll go ahead and shut it off when I'm about to turn it on, and then I'll come back when, when the plate over here is juiced. I cut up apples. This is about 12 apples, and they've been cut for about 15 minutes, so they're starting to turn slightly brown. So if you were going to do this in front of people or whatever, you, you could put some lemon juice or they have some sprays that preserve uh, the color of the fruit, but it's perfectly fine. And you're going to see that I'm going to put the core in and all. So that's that. And this is uh, eight oranges. I'm going to go ahead and make an apple and an orange and mix it up. And then I go ahead and just use a regular blender when I'm making a protein shake if I'm adding uh, fruit juice to my smoothies. Sometimes I do, sometimes I just drink it fresh. And then with the pulp that's left over in the reservoir, if you, if you know how to dehydrate food, I have a food dehydrator dehydrator so that could be another segment that I concentrate on although I don't go into that too much yet but more and more I'm exploring the raw diet so I'll be using a food dehydrator so anyways you can save the apple you can make muffins and things like that out of it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the juicer oh another way to juice obviously would take forever and you can't really juice an apple it's a citrus juicer and you cut an orange in half, I'm sure you know how to use this and you spin it, but that would be just to get a little bit of juice or lemon for a recipe or something like that. Or if you want to, it would probably, all eight of those would maybe make this much. So anyway, that's just a conventional hand juicer. So all you do with this is load up the top. See how this apple would be about, you know, this size. The whole thing wouldn't exactly fit, but just cut it in half. Again, it's just simple and I just load it up. Uh, the one thing that I find, even with the really expensive juicers, that maybe, uh, hey, maybe there's inventors out there and we'll invent a really cool juicer, but is this spout thing. They never seem to have them long enough. So I'm going to catch the juice in this. I like that it has like a sort of a square, roundish edge so I can pour it. If this was circular, it'd be messy. So I prop it up on a towel so I have the correct height. So that's what that's about there. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and load some stuff in here. Actually, I'll do it like that. I'm usually putting like three and four things and just jamming it down and that's what this little stuffer thing is for. So you'll see this is going to get loud. And you turn into the, this has two settings, soft and hard. And I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright, as you can see, all 12 apples are juiced. It literally took, thir uh, well, maybe like two minutes. Okay, so this is what I'm left with. This is not all 12. I've already poured some into my trusted uh, kiss cup. You know, you have to have a couple of those laying around, or the big gulp here. But anyway, uh, it, the apples get kind of foamy on the top. That's just what happens. It actually tastes pretty good. So this is really beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of it in this cup. 
just wanted to show you what it looked like. So I'll show you again. All right. And then I'm going to show you the pulp. Some people like to strain this foamy, foamy uh, stuff off. It's up to you. If you're on a fast and all you're drinking is really apple juice like for a day or something, believe me, that foamy stuff is like you're eating food. You're just so happy to have something a little bit with weight in your mouth. But that's me. I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick rinse because I'll be using orange juice. I'll be using, uh, juicing the oranges next. Just to give you an idea, I'll go ahead and move this over here, just to give you an idea of what this looks like. It's really easy cleanup. It looks messy. Believe me, I'm not, I already said I'm not about the cleanup at all. But you just take this apart like that, pop this lid off. I'll move my arm in a second here so you can see. You know, you just rinse that out quickly right in the garbage disposal or if you're making muffins or something. You know, you can see the texture of this. I don't, you know, I don't know if that's gross or not, but it's just apples. It actually tastes good. It tastes like a dry, chunky applesauce. So this is perfectly good to eat. Anyway, or you just take this right off, throw it in the garbage. And that's it. So whatever you choose to do. All right, I'm just going to get ready to juice the oranges now. Now, normally I just kind of put it all in one. I, I like making different uh, concoctions and drinks, but I just wanted to show you the difference. Okay, so be back. <laughs> Juicer's getting a workout today. You want to leave this under there for just a second, but, you know, I, I'm just going to take it away because we're filming. This is beautiful orange juice that I'm going to drink in the orange juice glass. I'll be pouring it in here. Again, I like it foamy like that, but if I let it settle, some of the foam would go down. It's sort of like a dreamsicle. Look how beautiful that is. Pure orange juice, very healthy for you. So... I'll give it a try. I'll let you know how it tastes. Mmm! This is so good. So anyway, there you have it. Juicing is so simple. Uh, again, if I want to put protein in there, I would just throw it in a regular blender or even in a shaker cup, depending on what kind of protein you use. So, let's see if there's anything else I want to mention. Oh, if you like my mad skills with this t-shirt, this was just a big baggy t-shirt that I happened to get at the uh, Chicago Entrepreneur Meetup Group. We're always giving out little things, gifts, raffles, whatever, but everybody got a t-shirt. And this one I just wanted to give a little style to, you know, when I'm just around here juicing or exercising. So uh, I went ahead and cut it up. But what's really cute is when you have um, a t-shirt that you want fitted, there's different ways to cut this. It's really stylish. So let me show you the back. It's pretty cool. Besides my, my bra, but I had that on on purpose so you can see. So if anybody's interested, people are asking me, I can go ahead and do a little quick tutorial. This took about five minutes to cut up. So um, to remind you, there is a Chicago Entrepreneur Meeting on the 13th. So uh, sign on to Facebook and go ahead and make sure you like our page and there's all kinds of information. So it's on the 13th in Romeoville. And that website is facebook.com forward slash Chicago Entrepreneur Meetup. So make sure you check that out. And uh, let's see. Oh, you guys are always asking me about my jewelry. Oh, I got some, juicing, some juice on me. So you want to be careful with that too if you have something good on. That was another reason why. Although I like the t-shirt, you want to wear something or an apron or something like that. So, sorry about that little splash. But this is one of my favorite necklaces. I went ahead and put this pendant on my own uh, ribbon here. But this is from Shay, my good friend Shay Vaughn, Shay Netics. Anyway, here's a little close-up of the shield. It's really a nice heavy pewter piece. And what it says is commitment, perseverance, self-control, integrity, and love. It's really beautiful. And it comes as a keychain, and I believe there was plans to turn it into a necklace. So if you want more information, just hit me up, and, and I can hook you up. All right, thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.